we cope here is extracting information from your spatial images and then use this information to help people make better decisions. So those days, there's a lot of satellites collecting lots of images about our Earth. However, you know, those images without interpretation, they're a bunch of uh, used as pixels. Traditionally, people use human labor to interpret, but however, this is very time consuming. So we decide to develop some algorithm to automatically interpret those images and extract the information from it. Copia has started with some technology that Yan Ming worked on in his PhD here at the University of Waterloo right across the street and turned it into a very interesting commercial capability to take raw data that comes from satellites and turn it into useful information. I met Yan Ming and his PhD research group about three years ago and Yan Ming had this really powerful technology and they wanted to look at ways to commercialize it. After a few months of that, we decided to form a company. We spun the technology out of the university and received some funding from OCE and other organizations to start the company. Right after we incorporated, we moved into the Accelerator Center. And what they provided to us that was extremely useful was this layer of mentors. Waming has been able to take a brilliant, brilliant project commercialize that idea and form Ecopia. We believe Ecopia has a tool that many communities are going to find not just of value and use, but also things that are innovative and going to save people money. They've produced a product that is going to help communities pattern what they do as far as growth down the road. So if you look at a, a community like the Waterloo region, we've had things like the LRT, and there's been a great debate about that, and Ecopia can help communities make great decisions. We've shown an interesting case where Yan Meng came from the University of Waterloo. He developed something very powerful as a technology at the university and then with the support of the Ontario Centers of Excellence was able to spin that out of the university into a viable business venture. And in the period of three years we've been able to bring this technology into a full-scale business uh, operating in five different countries and six different industries. Well, Yan Ming is that rare combination of someone who had the smarts to do a PhD in a very complex field and has the business acumen and the entrepreneurial spirit to start a company.